we're going to be a little bit chaotic and a little bit much. All downstairs and Bella is the biggest eater so I have to do this without her noticing. To spice it up a little bit I ask Butchu friends to pick my books for me. Couldn't in fact say no. I'm gonna use my coin toss app. Heads will be evil, tails will be nice. Over 600 pages. Hi, I'm Elena. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another TBR video. This TBR board is going to be a little bit different because I've added some fun things. We're going to be a little bit chaotic and a little bit much. If you're new here, I play TBR boards every month. All the information of the TBR board of the TBR game is in the description down below. But essentially I use the TBR board to decide my monthly TBRs. We have a few new cards. I had gone through almost all the TBR cards I made initially. I asked you guys on Instagram and YouTube what you want me me to put on a TBR card and you had so many amazing recommendations that I have a big big stack of TBR cards. Just thank you so much. I'm going to have so much fun with all of these TBR cards and we're going to use them for the first time in this round. To spice it up a little bit I asked Butchu friends to pick my books for me. I have asked six people to pick the books for me so instead of picking the books myself I played the TBR board and gave six wonderful people the prompt and ask them to pick a book from my own TBR. If you're curious to see what is on my own TBR I have a list on my Goodreads that you can check out. So in this video the wonderful Kieran from KD Books, Charlotte from Connie Reads, Elle from Thornfield Books, Sarah from Sarah's Proposal, Lucy from Crescent Pages and Mary from Mary Among Stories big books for me. So I wanted to make it a little bit fun, to make it very random in a way that some people would get a prompt that's maybe not necessarily books they would read themselves. So it would be a little bit fun. So I decided to pick two dies. I always play the prompt with this like pink purple die. I decided to give every booktuber their own number and before I would use this one to get the prompt I picked a ordinary white die to pick the booktuber. So clearly I played a game before I'm filming this because of course I had to send everyone a prompt so that they could pick a book. What we're going to do now is I'll show you the rules, we'll listen to the voice notes that everyone sent me. I have my trusty TBR card right here so we can pick the books, discover all they're about together. I'm going to start off with this one to pick the booktuber and then we're going to roll for the prompt. So of course I might throw doubles. So if I throw a number that I've already thrown for a booktuber I will just throw again and if I get the same number more than twice I will have have to add an extra roll. This might be stressful but also fun. <laughs> Before we start the actual TBR game I do have two book lip reads which I'm sure it will be a very very small chance that they pick these from my own TBR which the chance is I think zero so just going to be a bit of a bigger TBR this month which is okay. <laughs> um, for the Dutch Classics book club we're going to read Persuasion by Jane Alsen. I think I have read this one before but I'm not 100% sure which I think is a strange thing to say about a book but I had a Jane Alsen binge back in 2014 or 20 yeah I think 2014 it is a very long time ago now so I'm not sure which books I read from Jane Austen because I read everything my library had but they didn't have all the Jane Austen books I think we're just going to read this one and discover if I read it before or not I'm really looking forward to reading another Jane Austen and for the Bronte long we're going to read The Tenant of Vice for Hole by Anne Bronte this will be a reread for me which this time I'm certain. I read this one I think two years ago. It was my favorite Bronte novel that I have read before we started the Bronte long. So I have very high and fun expectations for this. I did already annotate it so I'm so excited to get back into my annotations, to add more annotations. But because this one is a bit bigger we're taking two months. So we're taking both May and June most likely because this is a bit of a bigger TBR. This one I'm going to read mainly in June. Maybe I will be able to get it on the June TBR board and I'll just save it for June. Those are the first two books that are going on the TBR. So without further ado, I think we're ready now to do the very first throw. Okay, so last time we ended on pick a card. So that is where we're starting this time. And I'm going to start with the white die to figure out who's going to pick the first prompt. Number one. And number one is getting a five. One, two, three, four, five, which is pick a card. A classic retelling. The first spell was a one, which is Kieran from KD Books. And his prompt is a classic retelling. Now Kieran very kindly decided to not pick a book from my own TBR, but to send me a book, which I have right here. Before we open it, let's look at the video that Kieran sent me. Good evening, campers. It's me, Kieran. I hope you're doing well. Well, Melina messaged me saying, Als ye dit nit dot, I come na Wales. 
Ich soll ihn finden. Ich soll ihn nie stecken. Je begreift? Well, I couldn't in fact say no. <laughs> I'm watching the video while editing. Um, just to be clear, I try to be very friendly with my request, but you know. I can be demanding, I won't deny it. Could I? So I decided to choose the shortest and smallest book on my shelves and send it out to the Netherlands, all the way from Wales. I know, Royal Mail. Well done, Royal Mail, for getting it there on time. I have to come clean. I rushed. I sent it out and I didn't know what the prompt was. And I got a short message from Blaine saying, Als je dit the pest. Of which I was like, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, we'll make it work, don't worry about it. Now the Lord works in mysterious ways and it happened to fit the prompt perfectly. A classic retelling. Someone had my back, didn't they? What I've sent her, I'm not going to say because I wrapped it all up so there'll probably be a bit of an unboxing element. Stick that in the tags, SEO, I'm alright, I got you back here. But no, this person, Nobel Laureate, is one of the finest living writers of our Type. I've never read a bad book by him and I hope you enjoy Melena. As we say in Welsh, go by the week when you have one high Melena. But do whether he or he is tired of the Erforth, Clueys and Ford and Carrie Dylan Thomas. Okay, let's open this. Very well packed. Oh my gosh, Kieran, seriously? You even wrapped it? Oh my gosh, I love this. What I love even more is that it's not a chunker of book. This is so exciting, I feel like it's my birthday. Oh, I know this author. I have never read anything by him. This is Faux by Kutse, which I think he is a South African author. Yes, he was born in Cape Town, South Africa. Okay, I have no clue what this is about. I haven't seen the clip that Kieran is going to send me yet. It is like a retelling of Daniel Defoe and Crusoe in the way that it is reimagined their experiences. Sometime in the second decade of the 18th century, one Susan Bortham told Mr. Daniel Defoe of her heart and unusual life. But I am fascinated. I don't know much about the author. Um, I've seen Kieran talk about him and about his amazing writing, so I'm really curious to see how I'm going to experience the writing myself. Thank you so much, Kieran. This is so incredibly kind. The cats have already taken to the wrapping, <laughs> so they thank you as well. <laughs> okay, rule number two is for person number six. And the prompt is a poetry collection or anything poetry. The second role was booktuber number six, which is Valerie. And I asked Valerie to pick just a random poet that she really likes for me because I don't have a lot of poetry on my own TBR. So I wanted to give her a little bit more liberty and just give me a poet that she thought I would like or that she really likes and I would get a collection from that poet. I know Valerie's really been getting into poetry, so I think this was the perfect prompt to ask her. Hello, I am so excited for this prompt, and the poet that I have chose for you is Sylvia Plath. I think you are going to love her poetry. I know she was very inspired by Virginia Woolf, and I know you love Virginia Woolf, and she also was inspired by other modernist writers, and I really love the poems that I've read by her, especially Tulips. I think that one is my favorite. Hmm. So Sylvia Plath is my pick for you. Okay, I have read poetry by Sylvia Plath before, and I do sometimes struggle with her work. You saying that you like it so much, Valerie, it gives me more hope. So I have read Ariel, which is a collection so I'm going to have a little uh, Google Goodreads search on what other collections she has published. I am very excited to give Sylvia Plath another go. So I know I have said I'm not the biggest fan of Sylvia Plath but we're all here for the second chances. Okay rule number three is person number four. Prompt. One, two, three. A bad pig! Oh my god! Oh how should I do this? I should probably ask if they will pick the books that the cats will pick. Yes, let's do that. Rule number three was for booktuber number four, which was Mary from Mary Among Stories. And this one was a pet pick. I asked Mary to pick three books for me so I could use them for a pet pick. I have never done with the kittens before. So I will pick three books that Mary picks for me, put cat treats on them and see which one they will prefer. Nora was just in here. So hopefully 
she will come back when I call for her. But first, let's see what Mary picked for me. Thank you so much for inviting me. I am honored to be doing this prompt because it is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> and I have three very different options for you. So the first option would be the Iliac Crest because I know you got that, got that one recently and are quite excited. Oh, yes, I did. I did. Okay, let's see. I did. This is the Iliac Crest by Christina Rivera Garza. This is supposed to be a book about forgotten female authors, so a great number one. Thank you, Mary. I'm excited to read it. Then I have Letters to a Young Poet by Rilke because... This is also one I have. Because I've read that one recently and I found it quite impactful and beautiful. I truly think you might enjoy it and I really hope you do. And then finally, we have Perfume, or The Story of a Murder, because I have seen the movie ages ago. It is quite creepy. I love it. <laughs> and I have been meaning to read the book, so I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, so I hope you like these options, and I cannot wait to see what your pets pick. Thank you so much once again. Bye! <laughs> Thank you so much, Mary. Okay, I have perfume, but where do I have it? I have like this tiny edition that is gotten lost somewhere on the TBR card. This is perfume, this is translated from the German, and this was translated from the Spanish. Okay, I am going to call for any kitten participant, and we'll see how this goes. Okay, now let's wait for a guest. Nora, come! Nora. I think they may be outside. Okay, let's take the books and the treats downstairs. All downstairs. And Bella is the biggest eater, so I have to do this without her noticing. Okay. Okay. This is going to... Okay. Okay, the first one that is swallowed is perfume. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, Bella did pick this one up first, but she dropped her treats. <laughs> so, okay, we're going to read perfume. Also, I have one treat left and one cat left. Here, Mr. Lazy. Honestly, because it's been on a book, the attitude. Okay. So, that was chaotic. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Mary, for picking all of these. First, I thought it was going to be this one, but then Bella drop the treat which i feel like doesn't count and then the first actual treat that was eaten was the one that nora picked perfume by patrick suskin this one was translated from german to dutch i found this in a mini library i too watched the film and was very disturbed and fascinated by it at the same time this is about a man who is fascinated by the scent of women and he tries to capture that scent and after he does that he kills the women or he kills them in order to capture their scent. It's very disturbing, but I've heard people enjoy this. So let's give this a go. Okay, roll number four is a two. And the prompt is one, two, three, a modern classic. Roll number four was for a booktuber number two, which is Charlotte from Coiny Reads. And her prompt was a modern classic. So let's listen to the voice note. To choose the your May TBR was a modern classic. So after having a quick look at your Goodreads shelf of your owned TBR, the book that I'm going to go for is The Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler. Now the main reason I picked this is because I recently read Kindred by Octavia E. Butler and it was my favourite book that I've read so far this year, at least one of my favourite books. But I do hear that I love her other fiction is a little bit different it's a little bit more intense in terms of the science fiction element which kind of makes me a little bit reluctant to pick it up but i love kindred so much so i would love to see somebody who has a similar reading taste to me uh, see what their thoughts are so i hope you do enjoy it and i'm sorry if i've led you astray i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> all right see you later i am so excited for this because i bought this about two weeks ago and how exciting is it to read books that you just bought oh Thank you, Charlotte, for picking this one. I adored Kindred as well. And yes, I think this is dark, but I really, really want to read it. This is a dystopian novel, a duology, written, I think, in the 70s and 80s. And it is about a woman who can sense other people's emotions. She can feel them. And in a dystopian world, that is, of course, a very intense kind of thing to be able 
to do. I went to a book cafe, which I've been to twice now and I really, really love it there. One of the book owners said that this was one of her favorite books. So yes, roll number five. We already had a six. We have to roll again. Three. Okay, five. One, two, three, four, five, which is non-fiction. The fifth role was for booktuber number three, which is Lucy, and her prompt was a non-fiction. Hi, Valena. So I would love you to read Letters to a Young Poet by Rilke, because obviously I had to go with the Rilke option. I couldn't not. I think Rilke is just such an inspiring, consoling writer. I think Letters to a Young Poet is the best place to start with Rilke, and I really hope you love it because it's just such a beautiful, emotional, inspiring piece of work. So I really, really hope you love it. It's not noticeable at all that Lucy and Mary are such good friends <laughs> that they picked the same book. Yay, this is exciting. This is also translated from the German. So I'm going to read two German books. This is nonfiction because it's letters that Rilke wrote about what it's like to be a poet and the advice that he has. So I'm excited to read this. Thank you, Lucy, for picking this book for me. Okay, and possibly the last throw. Yes, the last row. Oh my gosh. I did not expect to get this lucky. <laughs> and let's see. A six. One, two, three, four, six. It's also a modern classic. Role number six was for booktuber number five, which is Sarah from Sarah's Perusals. I made a little mistake because I got the dice mixed up and I only moved five tiles instead of six. So this is how I'm going to fix it because of course I already asked for the prompt from Sarah. So I'm going to read the book that she picks, but also I'm going to do the prompt that I should have landed on and I'll pick a book for that myself. Because you know, why make it easy for myself when I don't have to? So Sarah and I, Send each other a shit on a voice note, so this is going to take some scrolling time before I find the right one, which is like the only one I have not listened to, of course. She did say that she made a diabolical choice, so I'm scared, clearly. Like this, it's taking forever. Okay, yes, I think I have it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use my coin toss app. Heads will be evil, tails will be nice, and I'll send you a screenshot for proof. And I promise I'm not gonna flip it. 10 times to get the result that I want. I could do that, but I'm an Amish. But I, oh my God, I was gonna say, I'm an Amish gal. <laughs> I'm an honest gal. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, this is what we got. Like heads was evil, right? I don't even remember now, okay. Heads will be evil. Yeah. Tails will be nice. Okay, and yes. I'll send you <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. And so read Kafka on the shore. Um, sorry that it's like the thickest book there. Have fun. Love you. Lots. Bye. <sighs> when she said she was going to be evil, I know she was going to pick the book that I was considering unhauling. I, I knew it. I knew this would happen. Damn you, Sarah. This is Kafka on the shore, which I know is a very beloved book, but I feel like Murakami is not going to be a beloved author of mine. Okay, so this, this was a gift from Boy, which is very kind, but just the way that Murakami is described, the way he writes, I just think I will not get on with it personally, even though I know a lot of people love him and I feel like yes good for you I'm so happy that you love it but I just have the feeling that I won't it is over 600 pages love you too Sarah love you too if I would have actually landed on the right tile first of all this would not be on my TBR but second of all I would have had a historical fiction with a TBR card so we're going to pick a TBR card okay just let's let's pick one together okay Oh, I have it right here. Okay, you can see it before me. Author with nationality you've not read from before. Okay, this is fun. That means that I can add a book from South or Central America, which I recently did a book haul from. So I feel like I want to read one of the Argentinian ones that I got right here. I really want to read Elena Knows, but I don't think this is a historical fiction. This is also in contemporary, but this definitely is historical fiction. This is The Adventures of China Iron by Gabriela Gabzon Camara, which was translated by Fiona McIntosh and Iowa McIntyre. But this is set in 1872. This is a woman who leaves her no good husband and starts traveling through the jungle, I think, mainly. I'm excited for this one. 
this is kind of fun because none of these books, well, except of course this one, I would have picked for these prompts myself for this month, which goes to show how fun it is when other people pick your books because you get challenged. I think this is quite, for me personally, a very challenging TBR because almost all of these are out of my comfort zone. I mean, I've read some poetry by Rilke, but I didn't understand it very well, so I'm very curious to see how his letter writing is. This one I kind of picked up on a whim, so perfume I picked up on a whim, and I was kind of curious towards it, but I really don't know how, how I will feel about it. I think if Mary had picked it and then Nora wouldn't have picked it, it would have taken me a long time to get to this. Um, I have no idea what this is about, but I'm intrigued. <laughs> I am not pleased with this, but Sarah did say that she was going to be diabolical. I really hope I can find an audiobook for this. I think there's like a 50-50 chance of me just reading the first 100 pages and then deciding whether or not I like the writing and I like the storytelling because I think there's a big chance I won't get on with Murakami again. Very personal, not bashing on Murakami lovers, which I think is a big, big group on booktube, so I'm trying to be careful. This one I know and I think I will love. But I picked it myself. This I am really very excited for, but it is far out of my comfort zone because it is very fantasy dystopian heavy. So this is going to be an exciting month with a lot of me trying new things, which it's just really, really nice. And of course, when I feel overwhelmed, I want to get back into my comfort zone. It's the time I'm going to pick up the Jane Austen. Even though most of these books are quite thin, I don't think I will get to uh, the Tenet of White for Hole, maybe, and some reading experience will do. But I think I'm going to try to fit this in, in June's TBR board. I would love to know how you feel about the books that my lovely, lovely friends picked for me. If you've read any of them, feel very free to make a prediction about my reading experience. If this is your first time finding my channel or watching a TBR board video, I do them every month. I do reading vlogs, I do wrap ups, um, I do some sit down videos now and then. And of course, if you would like to see my adventures while getting out of my comfort zone and reading, then I would love it if you would subscribe and we can go on that journey together. And thank you again so much to the lovely Kieran, Charlotte, Valerie, Mary, Lucy and Sarah for picking books for me. All of their channels are linked down in the description and go have a sniff around on their channels. You will not regret it. <laughs> for now, I hope that you have a lovely, lovely day or evening and I hope to see you in another video. Doei!